Soul Soul Silvers and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna do something so exciting. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but for some reason I never really found the time because obviously I have to like sit down and really take the time to do this. But today we're going to be building the New Girl apartment or like the loft basically. I love this show. I'm obsessed with New Girl. I actually recently started re-watching it for I think like the third or the fourth time and I was like, oh my god, I need to build this in The Sims. This is going to be so much fun. I found this great floor plan that I'll insert here. Yeah, we're just going to try to recreate in The Sims, see how far we get. I also found some reference pictures. I'll make sure to put them on the screen while we're building. So when we're working on a specific area, you can see what kind of reference I'm using. But uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. And also, if you've built the girl, the new girl apartment or like any TV show apartment, let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you would like to see me do another one of these, if you enjoy this video, also feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, let's just dive into the game and get started with this. I'm on the Fountain View penthouse lot because this is basically one of the apartment lots in San Myshuna that allows you to just completely make your own floor plan for an apartment which is perfect because that's exactly what we needed. So I'm just going to see if I can start by placing the walls correctly and kind of getting the shape and the size and everything of the rooms ready. Also, I won't be using any CC in this video, so it, I will put it on the gallery. And if you want, you can download it. I am, however, not restricting myself pack wise, so it might contain a million packs. I'm already sorry for that about about that upfront, but to be fair, I want to make it as accurate as possible, and I'm probably going to need a lot of packs for this. I am struggling a little bit with the floor plan. I got like the basis in, but the um, measurements, obviously this is always a challenge when recreating something real in The Sims, that the measurements are just slightly off. So I'm trying to recreate it as best as I can for now. I think I'm going to have to place some filler furniture to really get the shapes and like measurements right. But for now, I'm just trying to get the basic walls in and see if it starts to make sense, even just a little bit. I just needed to scoot everything over because I think I need more space like in width wise. There's like things that in this floor plan that I don't think I've ever seen in the show, but they make sense to have like there's a little laundry area over here, which apparently cuts into Jess's bedroom. But right now, Jess's bedroom is like minuscule, which cannot be right. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna scoot everything over a little bit. Okay, I think I have the proportions of the floor plan right. I put in all the doors and stuff and I was now just trying to find a green door because apparently they have a green front door. I looked at some pictures and uh, as it turns out, we don't have one many green doors in The Sims, which is to be fair, kind of obvious because not many people have a green front door, but also we don't have a lot of doors without any glass in it. I think the doors that we have in The Sims are so meant for like standalone houses houses that if you're building an apartment and you want to use a door that doesn't have a window in it because you're in an apartment um it's actually kind of hard to find one especially since i don't want to be using any double doors because their original door is not a double door something like this is actually like perfect size wise this would be perfect for their front door the only problem is this is glass it's an apartment you wouldn't have a glass door but I might still use it for the simple reason that it just looks better. I feel like it matches more also with the vibe of the apartment being a loft and everything. Um, but basically, I think I have the floor plan right. It's it's hard to estimate. So basically, this is Schmidt's room. This is the hallway. This is where you enter the loft. Then here is basically the living room area. This is going to be kitchen. Then here is going to be their table. This is Jess's room. And as you can see, I tried to place some filler furniture to kind of get some things looking just to see if the, the shapes are somewhat correct. Again, it's not perfect. I would say that, or I would argue that it should be a little bit different. Like this bathroom is far too square for what it should be. And also they have this, like the famous bathroom stall. I'm not sure if that even will be able to fit in here, but I'm just gonna do my best. This is Winston's room. Um, Winston actually has a little bit of a wardrobe, just like Jess, but Jess's one is so much bigger. This is Nick's room, who, by the way, also has a wardrobe situation going on. He also has a very similar situation, although he just has like the barn doors or kind of like the industrial doors, whereas Nick's is just open. Right now, I'm just trying to get like the basic layout of the house. So Nick's is kind of like that. From Winston's, I have to admit, I don't know. There are very, very little pictures of Winston's room, so I think I'm gonna assume it's the same as in Nick's room. And Schmidt just has an open wardrobe. Like, basically against this entire wall, it's just open. The only thing that I'm not liking currently is the size of Jess's bedroom and this bathroom. So the only thing I could do potentially is, like, 
make the hallway one smaller and Schmidt's room one smaller and scoot the entire lot over and give myself a little bit more working room. But actually now that matches more with the size that it is on the picture, like a little square room. And now for the bathroom, I also think it matches a little bit more. Let me see if I can get that toilet stall in there because that's just so iconic that I feel like if we don't get it, that would be a win. Oh, actually that fits. I'm actually, if I look at the picture, it's very hard to see from the floor plan. And if I Google like new girl bathroom, you find a lot of pictures, but none of them specifically state or like show whether it just has a bathtub. They also, it looks like this wall, this is where the two sinks are. Then it's just a little bit crammed. But I don't believe we can make the toilet stall smaller, huh? I don't think that works. Do we have one that is slightly more narrow? I'm actually not sure. We could always, if we really wanted to, we could make it like, kind of custom. Well, I mean, that is a stall, right? If I've seen, you can look over it. That's the whole point is that you can look over it because in one of the scenes in New Girl, it's like Nick is, I believe it's Nick is who's hiding in there. And then he kind of looks over or, or it might've been Schmidt when he tries to see Nick naked. It's either one of them in that is like one of the earlier seasons. Okay, but now that we've got the basic floor plan in, I'm actually kind of happy with how that turned out. Let me see flooring wise. I believe they have, they don't actually have a wooden floor everywhere. It looks like Jess's room has carpet. Winston's room also has carpet. Smith's room has um wooden floor. Wait, that's, that's interesting. They have different types of floors. Nick's room also has carpet. Okay, looking for pictures. I just found a picture where it shows that it isn't a bathtub. It's just a shower. Okay, so that that's good to know. Right now I'm mostly looking for like the color scheme. They also have a urinal right next to the little toilet stall. But the problem is we don't have urinals in The Sims. So I can't really do that. But like in your mind, place a urinal there, okay? They actually have two urinals right next to it. For some reason, never realized that for a single second in my life. Yeah, but that's never gonna fit here. That, that would not work. But it's good to know that it's a shower. And the reason I started looking up pictures is because I realized I actually don't know the color of the bathroom but it looks like this typical like older yellowish okay 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 hear me out i decided to shrink a sink down and kind of use it as a fake urinal i know it looks a little bit odd but at the same time it's actually kind of fun and i like the fact that i still kind of mimicked it also i finished the toilet there's like a plunger because obviously we need plungers in this household for never calling the handyman. Then we have all the toilet rolls. I actually added a little bit of clutter in the shower, but not too much. I added two mirrors with like a bunch of clutter above it as well. And, and now what I really need to do is I actually need to get the shower in here. There we go. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna raise the platform in this little room behind it. Because if you do end up playing in this house by putting the foundation all the way up in that room, actually this wall and this wall will stay up. So it's easier for you to like select a shower and stuff. Okay, I think the bathroom is actually done. I added a little bit of clutter on this wall. Um, I think they have like, there's this one episode where they argue about whose towel is who. So I just added some towels on this wall. I also remember there being like a little bench where there's just some stuff sitting on there. So I also added that. And then I kind of had some space left over here. So I just added this little cabinet with some supplies. I felt like that makes made sense. And I also noticed some details on the pictures and that is actually that they have this like soap dispenser and a little like paper dispenser, paper towel dispenser um, located on these two places. And I realized we actually have those from get to work. So I was like, that could be fun to add in as well, especially because I remember seeing the show and thinking, that is such a weird detail because that does not feel like it belongs in a house. It feels like it belongs in like a public space, but okay. Uh, I thought it was fun to add it over here as well. Then I also moved the shower curtain. As you can see, I also added like a little bit more sh containers in the shower for shampoos and stuff, because obviously they live here with four people. So that felt feels like it would make sense. Schmidt would definitely make his business about having his separate shampoo or like, you know, shower product space because he wouldn't want anyone else to use it. So I feel like that made sense as well. So I think the bathroom is done. So let's actually move on to the biggest room in the house because I think this is gonna definitely give the build a lot of character. So I've done a part of the kitchen and I started to realize that I really, really have to get the windows in because one, I feel like it's gonna make the build feel more alive, but also it's gonna give me again, a little bit more direction on the proportions of things. And I just looked at some pictures and it, I'm not even joking you. It looks like they're literally having the windows from Moschino. Like these ones that are half open, 
I think these are seriously perfect. The only thing is that it looks like they have like this one and then two half ones next to it, which we don't have. So we're gonna have to get a little bit creative with the spacing of these. Maybe I should use two instead of three. That might actually work a little bit better. And then over here, there's like a bookcase, which I think would fit right in between these though. So that would be perfect. Over here, we can have the TV in the corner. I think that should work as well. As you can see, I started with like the basic layout of the kitchen. So I think that is also starting to take shape. There is a ridiculous amount of clutter in this kitchen. So I'll be right back. I'll see you in a second when I've cluttered everything. I'm done with the kitchen. I managed to get all the clutter in. As you can see, there is so much clutter in this kitchen. It took me a little while. I also made sure to do all of the wallpapers uh, because I realized that the kitchen is bright blue. I don't know how I've never noticed this in the show uh, because I think it doesn't look that good. When I did it in The Sims, I was like, oh no, this looks terrible. Also, the fact that they have this like kind of island or like kind of place in the kitchen where they pep some food. It's kind of a, a separate island, which you could buy at Ikea, but we don't really have something in The Sims, so I ended up using different kitchen counters. But to be honest, it, it mismatches so badly with this kitchen. But to be fair, if you look at the pictures from the show now, they kind of mismatch. That's kind of like the whole point. Um, also, I'm gonna get rid of this light for now because um, I made sure that the kitchen is relatively well lit. I feel like it works. It's kind of similar to how it's lit in the show. I've also made sure to add all the wallpapers, as you can see, the bright blue of Jess's room, because let's be honest, that's just iconic. Then uh, I believe Nick's room has just mostly beige, apart from the outside walls. Those are all brick. Winston's room, actually, I believe his bed is over here. Although now that I look, yeah, actually his bed is over here. And there's this ginormous mural painting behind him. So I'm gonna look into like the art section of the game and see if we can find anything to put up on the wall. But I believe the rest of his walls are just kind of beigey like. I just realized that I don't have, I didn't put any flooring in Jess's room, but I think she has the same carpet as in Nick's room. Somehow I completely missed that. So I think now the kitchen is done. I also added some wallpaper in the hallway and I added like two mailboxes and a trash chute. Technically, by the way, there is a second apartment that is over here. So. It could be fun to also add a door. Like that leads to the apartment across the hall. Uh, as you can see, I definitely won't have space to recreate that as well, but at least now the door is there and I feel like that kind of makes sense. I also feel relatively inclined to put brick wall on the outside of this entire build because imagine me just forgetting that and then uploading it with a completely bare wall on the outside. That would be embarrassing. I feel like maybe it is now time for me to start moving from the kitchen to like the big living space. So I'm gonna do the basic layout and then I'm gonna show you guys right away. I think I did it. This literally took quite a long time, but I think I have the layout ready. Um, the only sofa that like really matched was this one. So I kind of had to sneak it like this. It is glitching a little bit. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do. There could be, wait, I just had a realization. With the new kit that came out recently, there's actually a pillow. Maybe we can sneak the pillow into the corner to kind of hide this. As I started talking to you guys about what I could have done, I was like, maybe that could work. You know what? I think that actually hides it perfectly. Like the little glitch, you can still see it a little bit, but at least it's not as obvious. And now there's just a pillow, which I think makes sense because in the build itself just adds like a lot of blankets and pillows and everything. I also noticed there is this really big like spandrel going across with the two columns and this column being kind of an awkward place. I love that you can that way kind of see that this loft used to be not such a big open space. It was more closed off and then it was broken, like the walls were broken down. But I think I have the basic layout, like they, I have the bookshelves, the TV that is kind of on a diagonal, which I always thought was a little bit weird. And um, then they have so many little cabinets everywhere with just clutter and like vases. So I added a bunch of books and everything. They have a little wine cooler over here in the corner. I also believe they have like a bunch of more cabinets over here, but I couldn't find any good screenshots of it. I also realized that I think it looks like there is a plant over. Uh, there's definitely a plant over here, but I believe there's also a plant over there. Maybe not that one. That one is too skinny. I think I know which one I need. I know this one. I think it is like about over here. It's standing right in front of this painting. So plant over there. We have the table with the six seats and a blue light hanging above it. 
And I think that like space-wise, there's also an episode where Jess buys or like gets this vintage cabinet that she ends up adding over here, which is normally, I believe, an empty wall, but I'm not 100% sure. You know what we could do? As kind of an homage to that episode of Jess adding the vintage cabinet, I believe we have something similar in game. It could be kind of fun to add that in. It's kind of something like this that she gets. I feel like this one is slightly too modern. The one that she gets is definitely uglier, but I feel like this is perfect. Also with like the slightly weathered or like brightened wood, I think that's great. And I think maybe normally there is something against this wall, but it also fills up the space a little bit more. And then they have a bunch of clutter here in the hallway that I still need to add. And then I need to get working on the three bedrooms, which obviously will have like, or four bedrooms, hold up, four bedrooms, which will obviously hold like the most personality because that's the spaces where the characters really define themselves. So I definitely wanna make sure to spend some good time on that and don't rush it. I'm really glad with how this build is turning out so far. It is taking a lot longer to make this. I have to admit, I've been recording for almost two hours. And it could be because I just want to get every detail right and it's just me that is taking so much time to get it right and like clutter the heck out of everything. But to be honest, this is so much fun. I highly recommend if you've never done something like this, find yourself your like your favorite movie or your favorite TV show and start recreating sets from those shows or those movies in The Sims. It's legit one of the most fun things I've ever done. I'm having a blast, even though it's harder than I expected. I managed to decorate the hallway. I added this cute little cupboard. In the actual show, they have something a little bit more industrial looking, but I couldn't really find anything. I decided to add a basketball because Winston plays basketball. I found another or like a couple of other basketball related items. So I added those in his room already. Um, I made sure to also put up a poster or like try to get similar posters. This corner, I kind of had to wing it. I remember there is a cabinet here with a bunch of clutter, but I couldn't find any pictures. So I kind of just rolled with it, gave them a little doormat. And basically that means that this entire side of the house is done. I just need to do Schmidt's room. I also just saw that I totally did not place any wallpaper in Schmidt's room. Hold up. Okay, I've added three different wallpapers in Schmidt's room because basically he has the brick on this side. Then he kind of has his open wardrobe on this side. So that's just a simple like beige wall. And then on the back, there's kind of like these two fake windows that he has. I'm not sure if we can mimic that with anything. We would have to go into wall decorations. I can find those even. Okay, I finished Smith's room. I ended up putting this back, but just like making it quite large because I still think I like the feature because in his room, it's almost like an artwork on the wall. And I know it's not perfect, but I think it is close enough for what I can do in The Sims. And then, like I said, I tried to do like a half open, open wardrobe. I added a mirror. I think he has a mirror like somewhere over here in his room. I'm not 100% sure. Then he has like a little chair. There's a bunch of books. He has paintings on either side of his bed. I tried to pick paintings that I would think that Schmidt would like enjoy. Kind of like the minimalistic, a bit more modern, but rich looking, like important person looking. Um, so this is what I ended up making of, of Schmidt's room. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it, if you think this would suit his character. And then let's actually move on to the next room. As you can see by my outfit, it is another day. This build was taking a lot longer than I expected, which honestly, it's only for the good, be only for the good, only for the best, because I've been enjoying it so much and I actually don't want it to end because I love building this. But um, I needed to take a little break because I was streaming yesterday and after that I didn't have the energy or the time to continue with the build. So I look a bit different, but we're gonna continue with all the building shenanigans in The Sims. Um, yesterday I finished Smitch Room, which means that right now we're gonna have to continue with the other bedrooms, the hallway, the living room, everything's done. So I feel inclined to start with Nick's room and then Winston's room, and then the little laundry area somewhere in between. And I think I wanna save Jess rooms for the less last because I feel like that's the most iconic one of the whole show. So let's actually start with uh, Nick's room and then I'll walk you through what I've done once I've decorated. Okay, I'm done with Nick's room. Uh, I had a little bit of a hard time because there's only pictures from like two sides of the room but I tried to do my best to recreate them. Obviously I had to get like the makeshift curtains because that feels so Nick Miller to not have 
proper curtains. I mean, in one of the pictures, it actually shows a little bit even that he kind of has just a cloth or something hanging in front of the window. So we definitely had to recreate that. Then we have the super messy writer's desk with two lights, actually. And I also noticed he has a lot of smaller lights in his room. Like there's also two on his bedside table. So I just tried to add that as well. There is a bunch of boxes with just paper sitting everywhere, like stuff sitting everywhere, like old crap that he hasn't really thrown away because he's kind of holding on to it. He also doesn't have the most comfortable chair, but it's functional. Like that's kind of the whole vision I had for this room. It's just like, it's kind of, um, I'm still living in my student dorm, but I am an adult now. So there is certain adult things in this room, but still it's kind of messy. Um, I decided to use this bed from, um, I believe it's Outdoor Retreat. Because I feel like just the whole almost kind of like a, an air mattress vibe also really fit him. I did the posters on the wall, everything. Again, there a lot of clutter everywhere. Nothing of the furniture here is like really matching. Then we have the trunk at the end of the bed. And then if you look at the other side of the room, we have his closet where there's just a bunch of clothes laying around. He hasn't really gotten to putting his laundry away, anything. Then there's the little um, cabinet thingy right next to the door. I think in real life, this cat or like this wardrobe is more like a half tile. So there's a little bump in, in this room, but obviously in The Sims, you can't really create that. So it's a straight wall. But nonetheless, I try to recreate kind of the shape of the room. And then this is the other side, which I kind of just had to wing. So I decided to use the basement treasure kit to just add like a worn down sofa, a broken light and a little another bookcase because obviously he's a writer. So I decided to add like lots of papers, lots of books in to this room because I felt like it fit his creative process and profession. And then I just added a bunch more posters on the wall because on the other side, we had the posters above the bed and I felt like, you know what? That kind of matches his vibe, that matches his room. Um, and I felt like this bookcase from university with like it's standing on bricks and everything was so perfect because literally that's the bookcase that Nick Miller has in his bedroom. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this room turned out. I feel like it definitely encompasses his personality. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts of what should have been an item that I should have added. Maybe there's something that you've seen that you're like, oh, that is so Nick Miller in the game. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So let's actually move on to Winston's room, which again, I don't have any pictures of apart from the one where there's this ginormous mural, his bed is over here and then he has two nightstands. Other than that, I have no idea about the layout of this room. So I'm just kind of gonna wing it. I'm gonna give it a lot of basketball sports personality because I feel like that really suits the character. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just let's just see how this turns out. Okay, I think I've I've done it. I think I did Winston's room. So what I did with the weird mural is I kind of combined two wall decals because there one is nothing in The Sims that matches is even remotely, and two, it's hard to find someone that fits this like wall height. Kind of the entire it fills the entire wall space. But what I did is I basically, if you look at the picture from the room, is that you can kind of see this alien landscape with this big monster. So I tried to recreate the whole landscape thing and then just use this decal to kind of create the evil alien monster. I know it looks very different, but it's the closest I could get in The Sims. Then the rest of the room, as you can see in the picture as well, he has quite a simple bed and then two slightly different nightstands with like an alarm clock, some books, I put some extra clutter on this nightstand. I know it's empty in the picture, but I felt like that just gave the room a little bit more life. Then in this corner, you can see some workout equipment. So I also added that. And then I just added his brand new trainers and some basketball memorabilia. So like his cap, his maybe like his original bar, like when that got signed. Then he has his old basketball shirt from when he was, was it playing basketball in Latvia? I believe he was in a team in Latvia. Um, then I just added some more workout equipment. So kind of like a worn down um, boxing thing, a yoga mat, another basketball that's kind of like there to use. And then I figured, you know what? He has plenty of wall space. How about we just hang up one of those basketball rings and then he can like practice in his room. And to be honest, it looks kind of dope. I really like it. I've never put a basketball thing in a room, but I might do this more often for Sims that are really into sports. And then I just added this a little bit more classy mirror. I feel like Winston is definitely the one that is the most grown up of, I mean, Schmidt pretends to be grown up, but he's like acting as an adult. I feel like Winston is actually the one that even though he goes through a lot in the show of still, you know, getting to being an actual adult, I feel like in the beginning of the show, especially he's just the most mature for some reason. So I also gave him like 
a little bit more of a sophisticated room, so that's why I picked this mirror. Then he has his wardrobe. He's also, he's not like a messy person. I feel like they don't go into his character enough in the show. I think his character could have been explored so much more, um, but I gave him kind of like, I imagine him it, as a sim, he would definitely be like a neat sim. Um, where Schmidt would kind of be like controllingly neat, he would just be like, like kind of neat. Like a normal amount of neat. Does that make any sense or am I just talking gibberish right now? Anyways, I gave him his closet. There's just stuff in there, but it's definitely not very messy. And then I hung up some more like sports posters and stuff. Again, since I didn't have too much to work with in this room, I feel like this is the best I could do. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, what you would have changed. And maybe if you have other ideas of Winston's room, um, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. And then I think it's finally time for the most iconic room in the whole apartment, and that is Jess's room. I already did the coloring. I still need to look at the color for the wardrobe. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done with that one as well. Already by looking at the first pictures, I realized Jess does not have carpet in her room. She has kind of like a vinyl flooring. So almost kind of like this, but then without the tiling in it. I don't even know if we have something like that in The Sims. Like this might be the closest to it, even though hers is like one color. That's a weird flooring for a bedroom. I mean, I know this is dirt, but to be honest, that looks the closest to what I see in the pictures. Am I really gonna put dirt on her floor? I guess I'm gonna put dirt on her floor. Please forgive me for this. I also noticed that she has like, it's kind of like this. So not her entire wall has the, the blue color. And I think I might just add the columns to kind of separate it a bit more for the simple reason that in reality, there's also half a tile bump out, which again, we cannot really do in The Sims. So I guess I'll just have to do it like this. And then it looks like the inside of the wardrobe just has a plain white background. And then there's just a bunch of cabinets and stuff in there. I think I did it. I think Jess Rooms is done. I am so stoked for this one. So I ended up actually adding a bump out here because I feel like if you look at the pictures, this bump out is kind of substantial. And then over here, I did keep the columns to kind of separate the two pieces because like I said, there is a half bump out there, but I love how this room turned out. I added some funky colored lights because I feel like that really, really fits Jess. Again, I, I took inspiration from the pictures, but I also kind of gave my own interpretation to it. So I gave this really cute like night lamp to her because it has a little fox on it. And for some reason, I just feel like that matches her so well. Then I gave her these bed sheets with flowers because obviously there is no other way that we could have used bed sheets with flowers. And then I tried to just kind of match. She has a little tapestry on the uh, on the wall over here. There's a bookcase. I couldn't really find anything that was similar to the bookcase she actually has. So I just went for this one, but I think it works just as well. I tried to use everything and anything colorful. So if there was like a colorful sh uh, swatch of something, I tried to use it. So having the, the robe on the door in pink, obviously. Although I believe now that I start to think about it, doesn't she have like a bright red robe? We don't really have bright red though. I feel like the pink might have been a better choice. Then we have our desk, which is really, really cluttered with a bunch of arts and craft supplies, like a, something that one of the children made for her in school. Um, then she has this really pretty kind of vintage plant artwork above her desk, which again is not something we really have in the game, but I ended up using this one from Realm of Magic because the plants at least have the same vibe. I know that it, like the one that she actually has is a lot bigger, but I felt like this still could work. Then I added some like cute cross stitching because she is really into knitting and like arts and crafts and stuff. So I thought that was cute. Then we have the infamous record player where she continuously plays the same song over and over again in one of the episodes. I love that we have this now with the new stuff pack. It came out so perfectly. Then there's like this little table. I feel like there could have been a better match, but I couldn't really find it. I think, wait, hold up. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe the paranormal stuff pack has something that is a little bit more in the style of the original cabinet. Hold up. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I was thinking it did because of this cabinet, because look, that is so much like in the same style as the little cabinet that she has here. But I'm afraid there's only this one. I mean, I feel like it still matches better than the one we had before. To be honest, it is more of the same vibe. Apart from the fact that it's not open and there's no books in it, I feel like this could totally be a Jess cabinet. It matches so well. 
Then we have the big open doors and I'm gonna try to show you like this because it's really hard to show into that little wardrobe because I did a little bit of magic as I call it myself with some kitchen cabinets and then kind of using the, the wardrobes from Get Famous because I absolutely despise <laughs> the look of the Get Famous wardrobes but they fit so perfectly in this room that I kind of just hit it with some more white cabinets I do think that the clothing being like super sparkly and stuff that is hanging in here does kind of match Jess's, Jess's vibes. I ended up adding some like extra arts and crafts storage boxes, a little um, shelving unit with, again, some stuff that I feel like really matches her personality, like the polka dots and everything. Then I don't know where she has a mirror in her room. I didn't see it in any of the screenshots. So I ended up adding this mirror in the wardrobe. Again, she has like the kind of over the top with the little light bulb. She has some pictures on her mirror, maybe of her and Cece. I really like that idea. And then this side again has like a little arts and crafts cabinet. I feel like in the picture, it's a bit more of a modern lofty one, but we didn't really have anything like that in the game. And I feel like this totally matches Jess's vibe. Again, lots of yarn, lots of just crocheting, knitting, stuff like that, because that's definitely up her alley. And then some books. I looked at this book stand and I was like, that's something she would buy, 100%. Then again, for the curtains, the ones that you have in the in the actual show are see-through, but we didn't really have anything like that in game and I felt like it was more important to get the vibe of the curtains right because these are just, I don't know, they're just so grandma cottage quarry that they totally fit Jess. And I think that leaves the little laundry room. So let's just add some, some stuff in there. Okay, so I'm done. I kept this room really, really simple. I just added a small sink, the one that has like the bucket underneath. And then I added uh, a, like a washing machine, a dryer, added some detergent on top. And then I have a little hanging rack for some towels and the ironing board. I felt like that made sense. It's just a small room. I don't think they ever show it in the show. So I feel like it's just, if you end up playing this apart in this apartment, it's important that they have it. I believe all of them have a laundry bin in their room. So for Winston, it's in his uh, cupboard or in his wardrobe, sorry. Uh, Jess, the same, it's in her wardrobe. Then for Nick, it's in his wardrobe. And then let me see, Schmidt has it standing next to his wardrobe as well. So I think that concludes the whole apartment. I think that is it. That's the new girl apartment. The only thing that I know is not in here and I have never been able to figure out floor plan wise, where that specific space is. There is this scene where Jess and Nick get locked into a tiny little storage space somewhere in the room where they have to like kiss. It's when they're playing Captain, it's called Captain America, right? When they're playing that drinking game where you're not allowed to touch the floor because it's lava, that one, for some reason, I cannot fathom the name of that right now. I believe it's Captain America, but they get challenged to kissing. And it's like the one episode where they build a lot of suspense of Jess and Nick kissing. And then I think they end up kissing in the end of that episode. Sorry for the spoilers if you haven't watched the show. But the thing is, I've never been able to figure out where that room is because I think they suggest it's like somewhere on this side of the house. But yeah, I'm gonna insert some screenshots uh, of all of the rooms. I find it hard to estimate which of these rooms is my favorite. I think I really, really, really liked how the kitchen and the living space turned out for the simple reason that I think that I managed to get them the most accurate. Although I have to say, I really enjoyed decorating Jess's room. I don't very often do super colorful rooms. I'm always that person that tells myself that I'm gonna add more color and then I end up going for like neutrals and pastels. So for me to go out of my way to use bright colors and patterns and everything, I really enjoyed it. I also think if you look at the entire build together, it is even more funny to see how much Jess's room stands out. You never really see it as a whole picture from above if you're looking at it in the show, but I think it is so funny. I still love New Girl. I definitely am gonna continue watching my current watch through and then I'll probably start again right after. Let me know in the comments down below which room was your favorite of this whole build and also just in general, if you like New Girl and also how many times you've watched it, any thought you have on the show, I would absolutely love to hear. And with that, I think I will conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking through the whole build with me through all of the rooms and all of the details. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, please like this video. It really, really helps the video get to more people. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to do so. I do a lot of fun Sims videos and I plan to do some more fun build challenges in the future as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of those in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.